Y'all, I am super, super excited because later tonight, I am going to see Missy Elliott in concert. My friend texted me and they were like, hey, um, I got free tickets to Missy. I don't have anyone else to come. Do you want to come? And I was like, <laughs> Yeah, of course. Obviously, I would like to come see Missy Elliott in concert. For the free? For the freezies? For free 99? Absolutely. There's actually, incidentally, not a lot of concerts that I wouldn't go to for free, but like Missy Elliott seems like she would be top notch. But here's my dilemma. Okay, this might be blasphemy to some of you, somebody out there. I am not super familiar with Missy Elliott's music. I'm, not, I'm just not, I'm simply not super familiar. I've obviously heard the odd song and I understand that she is an icon, she is a legend. She is a blueprint for so many female rappers and honestly, like male rappers, right? But I'm just not super familiar with her music and I feel like I have two and a half hours to rectify this before the concert starts. So literally, as soon as I'm done shooting and editing this video, I'm going to just go play all of her music because I, I don't like, nobody wants to be the person at the concert who can't dance and sing to the songs. And obviously you can dance to anything, but like, I want to at least be able to like mouth a couple words. You feel me? You guys get it. You guys, y'all feel me. Any whosins, I hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are staying safe and sanitized. Today, we are here to watch some Daily Juicy memes, one of my favorite kind of meme compilations. I'm super excited to see what this video has in store for us, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Was I a good president? No. What the fudge? Your time is not up yet. Get back out there. <laughs> oh no. Uh, I'm leaving you and taking the kids. Oh, Me, no. that's amazing. Oh. This is how they got almond milk. <laughs> Fashion, Fashion art. Fart. Fashion fart. Yeah. No. They, they should go back to the drawing board on that one. It's, it's terrible. That belongs in r slash crappy design. That's a... Mm. Just one like. And I'll destroy Tokyo at 3 a.m. for literally no reason. Damn. Say no more. <laughs> who liked it? People who call in... Oh, he liked it himself. I'm dead. For literally no reason. Say no more. People who call instead of text, me. My reaction when I realize Q is just Q followed by four silent letters. Yeah. My favorite is when the freaking AI says Q E W E instead of Q. It's it's so good. It's so funny. Humanity's greatest construction. Four thousand years ago. Mm -hmm. Today. <laughs> My family. For sure, when he gets a girlfriend, he'll mature. Damn. My girlfriend and I. Ah, uh, terrible thing to hope. When you're eating mozzarella sticks and the cheese stretches. You guys are disgusting. You guys are horrendous, awful people. What is wrong with y'all? Why would you desecrate the cheese pull by equating it to something like that? Why would you do that? My grandpa left this surprise in my grandma's camera roll on her new phone. Aww, that's cute. Mommy, how can you live without eating? What do you mean I eat every day? I heard daddy tell his friend you haven't swallowed since college. Huh. Uh-huh. Nintendo. We are making an M-rated horror game. Ooh. Everyone. You what? Ooh, that sounds the I won't be playing it because I don't do horror games. OGs might remember when Chavez and I tried to play that Layers of Fear game and literally couldn't get through... <sighs> I, I want to say we didn't get through more than 15 minutes of it. We did not complete any significant percentage of that game. I, could, I couldn't handle it. I couldn't deal with it, which is hysterical because I really enjoy watching horror movies. But something about the immersion of of a horror game, it just, it, it, I, it, it messes with my brain and I can't, I can't handle it. I have like a visceral, straight up visceral response. The UK having their election July 4th. Mm -hmm. The US having their election November 5th. <laughs> I'm going to Hawaii with my family. Our flight leaves at 8 a.m. We have to leave at 6.30. I have to set an alarm for 6 o'clock. Yeah. But also, y'all are only going to get to the airport an hour and a half before your flight leaves? That seems a little bit risky. I don't, I don't know. I don't know about y'all, but I like to get to the airport at minimum two and a half hours 
before my flight leaves. I'll wait around in the airport. I'd rather wait around in the airport than be stressed about my flight leaving without me. Cause you never know what's gonna happen. Nobody is born cool. Except, except of course. Me. <laughs> Literally frosty the, the boss when okay. you fight them. The boss when they become unlocked as a playable character. Trash. Cabbage. Me trying to stop my mom from going into my room that hasn't been cleaned since 1869. Like, please, please don't do this to me. You'll be sad. I'll be sad. There'll be tears. It's just not necessary. You don't need anything in here. Gentlemen, it is with great pleasure to inform you that I created a makeshift desk by using a small table as a chair and putting a blanket over it. Okay, congratulations. Vegans, that chicken you just ate had a family. Me, eating the family bucket so Damn. that nobody is left out. Damn, alright, alright. Controller batter is a low. Me, keeps playing. Controller, dies. Me, Pikachu why face. didn't you tell me? <laughs> me, be quiet I'm calling my parents. Bro about to make the most authentic moaning sound you've ever heard in your life. Please don't. Don't do this to me. Time traveler. One day you'll be able to watch movies on your phone. People in the 1980s. <laughs> Two people having a conversation. Me. Being nosy AF. Every time. Oh my gosh. Sometimes. <laughs> sometimes Dr. D and I will be out. Or me and my husband will be out. Because my husband's a little bit of a chismoso also. And um, we'll be out. And like if we hear people having an interesting conversation. We will literally like pause our conversation. To listen and see what's going on. And figure out like what's happening. We're nosy okay. I, I like to know what's going on. I made this. Conversation. Me. Being nosy AF. I made this. You made this? I, I made, made this. this. Yeah. Family friendly YouTuber. Mm -hmm. Same YouTuber seven years ago. <laughs> when you don't want to get up. And pee because you're comfy. But you can't sleep. Because you got to pee. Honestly it's a curse. Yeah, that's exactly how you feel the too. The movie Inside Out, but it's my head. Oh no. <laughs> when the movie begins, and the main character has a beautiful, caring wife and a newborn kid. Oh, they're gonna die. Yeah, they're done. Speaking of which, there is a movie that's on Hulu right now. It's a Vin Diesel movie. It's called Bloodshot. If you've never seen it and you're a fan of good... Not, mm, good is doing a lot of heavy lifting there. If you're a fan of fun action movies go watch that movie and then come back and talk to me about how you felt about it if you liked it or not because i had a fantastic time i thought it was a great movie not a good movie right like not a not a well done movie but a fun great movie would watch again 100 percent. so i just wonder what you guys have to think about it kid YouTubers, you can join the Jiv away from anywhere around the world. Mm -hmm. Their world. <laughs> Me showing the new person at work how to do things I don't even know how to do myself. Right. And then it's like, and then I think you do this? Me coming home to the mess I made when I was getting ready. Mm. Here we've captured a glimpse of the evasive night shift employee on his day off. At the bar? <laughs> Me. Finally get some good sleep. Mm -hmm. My neck. Every time. Or for me, like, I have sciatica, so it's like my hips. My hips will just randomly go out. It's so annoying. That awkward moment when you're at the grocery store with your mom and she can't stop talking with everyone. Bro, so one time my mom and I were shopping at Kohl's. Literally shopping at Kohl's, hanging out, having a great time. And this lady randomly walks up to my mom and asks for her help putting together a couple of outfits. So then my mom and this lady literally walk around Kohl's together, putting together outfits for this lady's new job. My mom, mind you, we did not know this lady. She just randomly approached my mom and was like, you seem like you have a great fashion sense. Can you help me? And my mom was like, yeah, sure. So then I was just stuck following the, my mom and this lady around while they did their shopping. Like my shopping was completely forgotten about. And then like at the end, my mom was like, oh, like, did you find anything that you liked? No, you were supposed to help, like, girl. And then we had to leave anyway. My, it's okay, because eventually my dad took me back and he dropped me off by myself. And then I was able to buy whatever I wanted because my mom wasn't there to say no. So worked out for me and for that lady, so. 
Just sold the house I bought for 10k to some couple your age for 950k. Bro. I'm doing pretty okay indeed, but thanks for asking. Bro. Okay. Don't piss Boomer. me off. Complains about kids being on their phones and tablets all day. Mm. Watches 8 hours of TV a day. Yeah. Games create such unrealistic body standards for women. I will become him. <laughs> Billy, what have you done? I just said chihuahuas are the cutest pets. Oh no. Shoot him again, oh, no. Billy. Who's watching this in shot? <laughs> Praying the lord that Shrek 5 will be as good as Puss in Boots to the last wish. Yeah, so... Why is there a Shrek 5 come- First of all, I didn't even know a Shrek 4 came out. Why is there a Shrek 5 coming? What's going on? Are we really that, like, is there such a dearth of creativity and imagination? Are, like, our heads that empty? What's going on here? And how much do you guys want to bet they're going to use AI to write the fucking script? I bet you. I bet you. And it's going to be garbage. Hey, chat GPT, why do you always wear that mask? Glorified search engine. <laughs> Let's keep this on. Sorry to pause so soon again. Y'all, somebody on Twitter was trying to argue that people should be allowed to use chat GPT to write their essays and that, you know, because they're utilizing a tool and blah, blah, blah. If you use chat GPT to write your essay, one, that means to me that you don't know how to write an essay, which is probably the point of this course, right? Uh, two, when has anyone ever, like, when has a university ever been okay with somebody else writing your paper for you? That has always been something that you could get failed and or expelled for. I don't know why people are trying to act brand new because chat GPT exists now. That's still cheating? That's still having somebody else write your essay for you. I don't, I, I don't get it and I don't like it. Like, if you're gonna be so lazy as to have ChatGPT write your essay for you, just drop out. Like clearly college is not for you. I don't, I don't understand. Find search engine. Let's keep this on. My car 10 minutes after I fix whatever's wrong with it. Another the return light. of them. Yep. Mm -hmm. My house was invaded by Instagram models. Oh, no. They were intrusive thoughts. Ha. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 I am um, not a huge fan of the word thought, unless Megan Lee Stallion is using it. Not a huge fan of the word thought, but that was funny. I will allow it. I'll I'll let that one go because that's freaking funny. It's just funny. Any who's ins, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave your reaction requests and recommendations down in the comments below. And other than that, peace out, hope biscuits. It's Skittin' Lit.